Handstands are the cornerstone of almost every trick. Obviously, they're a very important trick to master. We want to make sure that we're doing it with proper technique. There's a right way and a wrong way to do it. So let's take a look. So this is a really beautiful handstand. She's got her fingers spread apart, thumbs facing each other. Her gaze is in front of her fingertips. She's lengthening out of her spine, squeezing her seat and her legs, legs together tight and toes are over the top. This is a beautiful arced, not arched position. Come down and finish. When your students are doing a handstand, make sure that they're lengthening out of the spine and leading with the toes over the top. We don't want them sinking into their back and doing an arch. It's more of an arc position where we're lengthening out and really arcing the body with the toes over the top. So kick up into a handstand. Show me a nice arc. Now I want you to sink into your shoulders and your back and show me an arch. Do you see the pressure is going to her back and her shoulders? I want her to lengthen out of that into an arc position. Make sure that your students know the difference between a gymnastics handstand and an acro handstand. In typical gymnastics, the handstand is in a straight line. And this is required at the higher levels because once they start tumbling, we do need a handstand that goes in a straight line. But in junior and intermediate, we are always looking for the lyrical line. And it's very easy to balance in an arced position with the toes over the top. That gives us a nice solid line, but it also give us, gives us a very beautiful lyrical line. So let's look at the difference between a straight up gymnastics handstand and a proper acro dance arced position handstand. So show me your acro first position and go up. So she's got a very nice line of the body. She's leading with the toes. Her hips are stacked over her shoulders and she's lengthening nicely. You notice that your students do kind of sense where they are. They try to sense their body. We want to keep them leading over the top. Okay, now I want you to pull into a straight line here. This is your typical gymnastics handstand. It's a lot harder to find your balance in this position. A lot harder. This is not what we're doing. I want you to open your head, lengthen and arc here. This is the line that we're going for. Let's take a look at the difference between a gymnastics straight up and down handstand and an acro arced handstand. So kick up. Okay. So fingers spread apart, thumbs facing each other. I want you to lengthen through your lower back and your um, shoulders, legs together. Now show me a arched position. So now the pressure is really in her back and in her shoulders. We don't want to be there. We want her lengthening out of that. That's why this wall is so helpful for your students to find that position. It takes a lot of strength to do that. I want you to just tap your toes away from the wall and try to find your balance. Tap. Good. So try it again. She's really able to stack her hips over top of her shoulders and use her toes to sense the position of where she needs to be. Now she's in a gymnastics handstand and the body is straight up and down with the chin under. Okay. This is everything straight stacked in a line. This is important for the upper levels when we're learning how to tumble, but for our purposes in junior, this is a very actually hard position to balance because there's so many things to stack here. She's not able to lengthen with her toes and sense and find her center of gravity. In an acro arced handstand, she is able to find her balance by using the wall as her spotter. She's still lengthening out of her shoulders but she's really using the wall as great feedback to find her center. Let's try a variation using the wall as the spotter to help her sense and find her balance. So we're gonna try a stag, so kick up. Too close. Point your toe. Stretch that knee. Tap, tap, tap. Find your balance. Good, there it is. And finish. Okay, Lauren, let's try a double attitude. So, find the wall. Use the wall as your guide. Bend that knee a little bit more. Tap, tap, tap. Where's your center? There it is. 
and come down. Let's try a straddle variation. So hands as close to the wall as you can get and straddle, seat on the wall, stretch your knees, point your toes and tap, tap, tap. Find your balance. Once your students have a really solid handstand, it's time to start handstand walking. We want to make sure that they're holding the arc, leading with the toes. Okay, look in front of your fingertips. I want you leading with the toes. Her toes are going to lead and her hands are going to move to keep up. So move your hands, lead with your toes, stretch your knees, lengthen. Keep walking, keep walking. Good girl. 